Well, hello there! I'm Philip Magnus, back with some more of the Banner Saga. This time, it's finally time to play through Chapter 11, which sees the return not of our lovely ginger heroine, but of our rather barbarous Val. Yes, you know the name. I don't. I don't remember it, but you sure do. And the name is... Um... Give me a cutscene. Come on. Oh, straight to the fiend depths with this unending snowstorm. Wait, did you hear that? Probably that bunch of yours rumbling again. Oh god. Ambush! Hey, we've got great morale. Ah, Bolverg, that was the name. I'm an idiot. An absolute idiot. No matter, though. We'll make quick work of these. No, ah, forgot his special ability. He hits twice. So, really, all I needed was a single star. Oh my! Hello, little ones. Are you looking for a spear in your head? Possibly. Alright, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Those fellows can always use a good stabbing. So, I did not expect that we would start with a battle right off. Not that I'm complaining, of course. I need to stretch my strategy muscles. Oh, da, da, da. that's what I want to do. So, basically, we already have managed to take a fair number of of them down to size, which, let me assure you, it's perfect for me. Our Spearwoman, I honestly don't remember. It's been so long since I actually played any of this. It's kind of, kind of sad, honestly. That, that, that. Let's take two swings at you and remove you. Ah, damn it. So I was right in what I did the first time I attacked with Bolverk. Let's see if we can kill you with Falka. Oh, I haven't got an achievement. Shield Maiden, that's excellent. Great, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, uh, we shall swing. Good, that's good enough for me. Now I do believe it's time to send one of our Val, or maybe even both of them towards these here slingers, which I'll show you are annoying and unpleasant, and this thing just became invisible, which worries me in many ways, many, many, many different ways too. Shall we move by using stars? Yeah, one star. We're going to save the other three and end turn. This one, I'm not even going to waste Bolverk's turn on him. Instead, I'm just going to move... Ah! What the? Cold the weak or bear rage. Counter attacks plus lower arm and causes fear in adjacent enemies. Oh, that's, that's useful. See? I do believe I just scared this little bug off. What is this thing anyway? I honestly don't know. What are their names? They look like a mixture between something very delicious that is supposed to live in the seas and something very unpleasant that they actually are. Yay, breaking armor. Fun times. I like Bolvik's team. They are interesting in the fact that, well, there's less of them, for one, and they seem to be, all of them at least, very, very capable. Yeah, let's take a swing with this axe. Now that's, that's just rude. Shall I? Wait a second. Maybe I shall. Yeah, I will take the Skulker out. And I even got more renown. Which serves me perfectly well. Ah, time to end these two now. 
I've been looking forward to killing slingers all week. Seriously, that's that was unnecessary. Really, very unnecessary. Yeah, let's just take this skulker out now. See, easy. Really, his class is probably the most interesting in the game, and probably the most lethal as well. I mean, Bolvik's, of course. The Berserkers are insanely powerful. Maybe even OP a bit. But then again, he doesn't have as high stats as the rest of the... Val, that's the name. Sorry. It eluded me for a moment. Oi! Stop swinging that damn sl sling at me. Wow, he feels insulted, which I have no idea what that effect does exactly, but I'm willing to bet that it is not very pleasant. I could have just as well killed this one with Bolvik. I don't know why I had to move. Never mind, though. Oh, promotion, excellent. Sigbjorn is actually very useful. And now it's time to end this. Good job, everyone. Good job. This was probably the most... Whoa! Why did I hit Sigbjorn? Weird. Victory! Yay! The Shield Maiden and the Wanderer achievements are mine. All mine! Bulwark is also ready for promotion, which is excellent. Sigbjorn, good lad, good lad. A very fine battle, if I do say so myself, and a very nice way to open up. You grab a raven running by you. I want every one of our fighters ready to move. Now! Set a post inside these gates for them to wait for me. Yes, that's the voice I'm going with. The fighter nods and takes off to find everyone. Where's that fane, Valka? Maybe up on the wall? The Fane Valka is here. Valka Zephyr, I've never heard you speak like that. The silent appearance of the two men there surprises you. You were outside the walls. What did you see? Dredge scouts. I'll wager my axes there's an army of them coming this way. The young Mender's eyes go wild as he stares at Claw and Fang. And if that's... Oh, sorry. That's folk. And if that's true, they'll level this place. The storm must have hidden their approach. Or kept them busy at bay. But why are they here? Why no? I don't care. We're heading for the mountains. But the ravens could take on all these dredge, especially with Valka's help. Like that time in Ra River Rake when you helped Valka Fjorin. Huh. I'd forgotten about that. Nickel's eyes light up. It was you, Fjorin, and the handful of ravens tracking down the bandit who called himself the Droger of Dengler. The river. A war horn blares across the town. The army of Dredge suspected is real. Nickels, find Goodmunder. Have his guards try to calm the people, but bring him to meet us at the barn with the cart. The young Mender follows orders without question. Not a bad quality. The car's not your business! I disagree. A dead Valka gives you a cart to hide in the deepest recesses of a river, and suddenly an army of dredge appears. If you haven't already tried, I doubt you'd be able to open the cart. If it's woven shut as I suspect, I'm the only one here who can open it. I suspect? Could it? No. I'm thinking that maybe it's the body of Bellower, the fallen dredge from the first game, but nah. We told you. Gina's not dead. We're just travelling with her. Let me tell you something that compromises my position as Valka. The Gina who I knew, who the entire council knew, was put to death by us, the council. Oh, interesting. You killed one of your own! It's, very, it's a very rare sentence, reserved only for the worst offences. Altering people's minds, their thoughts, is one such offence. 
Volker gets quiet and looks at you. Say nothing. Zephyr notices the silent exchange but does not question you. Regardless, Jed was put to death and Ivan was imprisoned. In his grief he escaped and stole away with Juno's body. But for what purpose is anyone's guess? So no, you will not be paid by the council for a job issued by a Valka whose life we ended. Your irritation is rising when another war horn sounds. The two horns means a large force approaches. See, I'm not sure that I can take Zephyrus word. Collect what you need and hurry to the barn. It's time to discover why you're really here. Yeah, I don't I don't trust Zephyr. Not one bit. Then again, I don't trust Juno either, but I've been with her for a longer time, and she has actually saved my life. The last dredge falls and you pause, taking in heavy breaths. The snow is finally abating, the storm is moving south. Let's get inside the gates, you say. Alright, let's do that. Barn market. Let's see what's on the, in the market. Clasp of kin. This is very useful. Very, very useful. Do I have supplies? Enough supplies. One more day, never hurts. Maybe I should buy a few more. But first, let's see, can we train, 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 train? Uh, yes, I do. No. That's the market! Bloody hell. Okay, so I suspect we cannot train unless we go to the barn first. Yeah, let's go to the barn. The smell of hay and yox dung is heavy as you enter the stout wooden barn. Zephyr and Nichols are talking in hushed tones to the guard Captain Goodmunder, who glances at the large cart nervously. Everyone knows why you, we are here, she says. I do not believe in coincidences, but I cannot begin to imagine what would draw an army of dredge to bindle besides the contents of this cart. She moves her spear in intricate motions, occasionally shaking her head and starting, and starting over. Finally, she looks at you to open it. Yes! I knew it! I called it! Haha. <laughs> I'm good. I'm very good. The sight of the Sunder Bellower's body in the car silences everyone but you. You howl at the memory of a dream is. You howl as the memory of a dream tears through your mind and drops you to a knee. The strange tower of white sound, lightning, fear, confusion, distrust. There is a wrongness about it all. Polverk, hey! Volker's voice draws you from the dream and she's shaking you by the straps of your cloak. Everyone is watching. Another dream? She asks. Your eyes finally focus on hers. A white stone tower! Lightning! What are you talking about? Zephyr asks, pulling away from the cart. Her tone is full of concerns. I saw a tower! Lightning! I, I don't know what I saw! The Valka pauses briefly before struggling. This is unexpected, Zephyr says. The Valka looks unaccustomed to surprises. Goodmunder, continue your, your task. Nichols, take some fighters and open the mine. Keep that path clear at all costs. As both men begin to leave, she points to the card and shouts, Not a word of this! They nod on their way out. She turns to you and Volker. Interesting. That is very interesting and it's even more interesting that I called it. This card. I'm not sure why they are attacking, but if the dredge recapture below her... He's dead! Who cares if they take him? He cannot die. His immortality is more than a rumour. Dredge lives have no natural end, but they can be killed. All except the immortals and their bellower. They live forever? Zephyr nods, but looks lost in thought. What happens if the dredge recapture him? Without doubt, they would wake him. He would have an army already filled it. And his wrath would be unmatched. You tore your toes turn to the destruction of the Battle of Borsgard. The storm to the south and dredge army to the north leaves us with one way out. 
the mines. Wait, our way out is to sit in a hole in the ground. The Valka have pathways there that will grant us escape. With all of these people, it will be difficult. Why should I trust anything you say? How would it lies serve me in this moment? If the situation was not there, why would I reveal secrets guarded by the council? She does seem more open than any Valka or Mender you have ever met. If we go with you, what is required? One, we only have a couple of hours to move food and people to the mine. I'll be at the opening prepara preparing the way. Help load cars near the gates or warn the families and the houses of our immediate departure. Without waiting for a response, Zephyr hurries away. You know, we could always take Bellower's cart and make a break into the mountains. The two of you reseal Bellower's cart. Of course, the town in Chaos is tempting. Makes you wonder what we might find in the Great Hall. We stick with the Valka for now. Okay, but a couple of hours won't let us do everything. Time to pick our poison. Two of us head to the Raven's post. Okay, Great Hall houses. Shall we go to the Great Hall? Oh, yes, definitely. You choose a few ravens of the half that are around to join you on your investigation of the Great Hall. The, f the front door might be the easiest, Volker says, but we could lift someone onto the roof and he'd be under an eave without trouble. You give it some thought. We don't sneak around like rats. Front door. The large doors to the Great Hall barely accommodate your frame as you and the others enter quietly. Half full baskets of cups and plates, hay padded crates with armor and weapons and rolls of furs, and tapestries are everywhere. Just when you think no one is around, you hear voices upstairs. Signal for the others to stop and listen. The room gets quiet and the voices become clear. Gutmander is talking to some of your ravens. I knew we'd have problems with your kind. He says. A raven responds. Velvet will kill you for tying us up. Rescue our fighters. Charging up the stairs you find Gutmander and quite a few guards with blades at the backs of a half dozen tied up ravens. The guard captain is shocked and says. Are you here to steal too? We were making sure everyone was heading to the mine. The guard captain eyes you suspiciously, but says, You have done more good up at the houses, but these thieves are the only other ones here. Polka looks disgusted in them. Idiots, she says, stealing from the very people we're trying to help. Aren't we trying to do the same too? Gutmander watches you for a moment and says, Glad I got here before they had a chance to get away with anything. They're all yours now, but we should all get to the mine. You grant an agreement and lead the ravens out the door, calling them all sorts of names. Once at the mine entrance, one of the men nudges you. With a smile, he hands over a pilfered trinket. <laughs> that was funny. That was kind of very funny. Hmm. Well... That's a big, big clan I have now under my banner. The mine shaft is cramped and more than once your broken horns knock against the rough ceiling or a timber. You follow Valka Zephyr at the head of the caravan. She is lightning one of many bracketed torches along the way when shouts from the mouth of the mine reach you. Bridge! The gates in the town did nothing to hold their advance. Gutmander and his men will slow them, but it may not be enough. They have orders to collapse the opening if they are overwhelmed. Will you keep them from being overwhelmed? We are mercenaries, not volunteers. No price will cover the cost of us all dying in this mine shaft, she says. I'll head back there if you want, but if I die up there, she looks at you. The torches will burn out, the food will run out, and then the real horror will start.
we'll do it. But we'll give Bryce later. Yes, we will, she says. We need to talk about many things, you turn and shout. Ravens, back to the top! Heading up the mine shaft is like swimming against the current. Frightened villagers push forward and you barely have room to get past the yoks and cart. Goodman there in his grim manner looks pleased to see you. No real plan, he says. Just kill as many as you can. The ravens around you smile at his words and begin to chant. I must admit, I kind of like... He's starting to groan me, Goodman there is. Oh my, oh yes. Let's level up, shall we? Yes, I will. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, that's, that's some heavy shield breaking. Let's take it. Oh, and I have items. How lovely. What do they do? Knock back on strength attack of 3 plus 2 will put kill plus 1 strength. Or this. No, I'm taking Gormar statue. Alright, now that we have this guy, we need this guy as well. Echil, this one is absolutely insane. I I am going to go with Zephyr. Falker. Anyone else I want? What do you even do, mate? Axe Trevor. I don't need you, thank you very much. Nikos, no. Let's say Krumer. I do believe he had a gigantic shield. No. I'm mistaking him. How about Bersi? Uh, weak source. Anyone I need to level? Sigbjorn. Yes, please. Forge your head, Sundering Impact. Um, I'm going to go with Sundering Impact. Good job. A very good job indeed. Oh, look. Robust. Interesting. Or Artery Strike. I think I'm going to go for the soft spots. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, let's go with this. And we're going to take another point in shields, because shields are important. You need them. Cool. Now, I do believe we are ready to go. Let's see then. Uh oh, those are dangerous. The gloomy things standing. What gloomy thing? This one? Gloom Warden. Well, that's unpleasant. These are actually pretty damn tough. Let's get the gigantic Viking woman on the field. Oh my. This is going to be so much fun! <laughs> Allow me to greet you into the mines by slashing at you in the most wonderful ways possible. Whoa! I did not expect that. I did not want that to happen either, surprisingly enough. We're going to take a big swing out of Yarls. Not this, certainly not this. Three adjacent enemies. Yes, please. Good, very good. That was as massive an attack as they come. Uh oh. He's summoning friends, I believe. But I will not let him do whatever he is trying to do. No, no, no. I think we're going to take care of those pesky little. Armor stats of yours. Both of you doing the same thing. Don't you think that's kind of unpleasant? Uh, taking shields and names as well. Gee, that was rude and painful. No worries, I can do plenty of damage. Ho oh, oh. ho! That was very good. Only what I don't like so far is that my fellows are... Oh, Runic Gale. Randomly creates runes of power within a certain tile 
diameter area. Restore an ally's armor. Yeah, I'm going to go with this, actually. Let's see. Restores armor up to half of Mendes' current willpower. Alright. Let's do that. Nice. That was... Uh, that's an awesome ability. Time to take care of you, dear boy. This is the end. The end is near. The end might make you a tiny bit too queer. Is that offensive? No. <laughs> Let's take another swing at you. This fellow is big and I don't like him. So I'm going to swing at him as much as possible. And now both of the unpleasant summoners are out. Just absolutely done with. Let's see. This is not a bad swing, but I'm going to kill him next turn. See, without armor, he is nothing. Good day, sir. Can I take some more of your armor away? It would appear that I can. See, I don't like this Valka. He's, she's not nearly as useful as Juno. Oh, cool. Even though she has white hair, and white hair is, as every anime knows, awesome! Ah, time to start swing. Actually, I'm just going to kill you, I'm not even going to start swing, I'm just going to bury my... Why do you keep doing that? I wanted two swings, come on! That was just plain unnecessary. Do I kill you guys? Yeah. I think I will. I'm going to move here. Oh, not enough willpower. Well, we're going to change that very soon. See? Done. Perfect. And two extra renown. For yours truly. I feel like this is going to end pretty soon. Honestly, when we first began this battle, I expected that it would take on a very, very but start but it was actually easy very very easy to my surprise not that I'm complaining of course let's take off your armor and then just completely murder you can I rest yep all right see ya big guy what was your name gloom warden well, you sure are gloomy. That's for sure. Uh, uh, th th why would you do that? See, berserkers are insane. That's why no one likes a berserker. You killed poor old man. White dude creature. Yay. Yeah, the berserker. Bulwark keeps surprising me, and not in the best ways. 